Okay, good morning. It's uh, 7.23 as you see on my clock here. It is uh, Friday the 1st. We've got non-farm payroll coming up. Um, sorry, I need my red mouse on here because i got to see where I'm at. I've got uh, eight full monitors up and running. I've got uh, five instances of MetaTrader up and running. I'm watching the Euro, the Pound, the CAD, the Swissy, the US Yen, the Aussie Dollar, New Zealand US Dollar, Euro Yen, Euro Great Britain, and I've got snipers set up. I've got it uh, activated on all monitors and ready to quickly move and uh, take action when the markets and this news is released. And uh, here is a quick chart to show you. 7.30, we've got the Canadian GDP, U.S. non-farm employment change, or the, the unemployment rate right there also. We've got average hourly earnings. So there is a number of items that are going to be dumped out here at 7.30. And so I'm just watching... Uh, the news on CNBC. I've got it on mute right now. We're down to five minutes left. As you can see, the markets have just chopped above, chopped below. So just looking at price, okay, this is what's interesting. Forget the news. Just look at price on the euro. It's a downtrend. Let's take a look at the Pound. Okay, and we'll see how these hold up. It's a downtrend. Um, uh, let's see. U.S. CAD is again, you know, exact opposite. It is just moving upwards. So from the Tokyo low to the London low, everything is on the up. It's interesting that the the euro is at a th red thermal grid. Uh, Swissy is exact opposite, above 97.35 thermal grid. Here is uh, just a quick look at the prices to note where everything is sitting as we're coming in, 726. So you'll see where the prices are at here coming into the news. We're going to do our best to to uh, play play the uh, play the retracement. So so real simple. I'm looking for a, a, the biggest divergence I can possibly get off of the news. So if non-farm employment change, if it's 151 forecast, right? I want something like around 100, as low as I can to really get movement, or you know 170, 180, 200, you know something dramatically more than that for movement. So I just want some divergence from that 151 forecast. Now the previous month showed 115. So to get the market to swing, I'm looking for a pop. Um, then if it's if if the markets don't pop, if they don't move, then I'm going to follow the trend and and, and I'm gonna just jump I'm gonna just jump in and let it move. I want to be conservative, take like 10 pips, 5 to 10 pips profit one, and just start taking pips off this market. Okay. So ideally what I want, I want some swings. I want some pops here in two minutes. And if I don't get any market pops, if it just bleeds, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and it'll just bleed up or it'll bleed down. But if I get some violent swings, I'm going to go against, I'm going to enter as it's going against the news. So again, the Euro US dollar, real quick, and I've, I had these on, I had to reboot. Uh, let me just put these arrows in here. Okay, so what that means is uh, good news, it goes down, bad news, it's going to go up, right? It's because it's an inverse pair, okay? The U.S. CAD, good news, it should go up. Bad news, it should go down. Euro, U.S. dollar, if it's great news and it diverges off of this forecast, then I'm going to watch for it to 
spike up to this 2348 area see and I'm gonna sell it here as it goes down okay if it's if it's really bad news then I'm gonna look to to buy it when it spikes down into these areas to head up that's all it is okay and um, it's really that simple okay so I'm gonna bring it to the center so I can see it over here is the pound want to see where the big levels are I got these highlighted ready to go and I have probably one to two minutes after the news to make a decision okay so I'm gonna let my mouse relax and I'm gonna turn on the news and it's gonna be a little bit loud you'll hear it in the background but I've got it turned up so that I can hear what they say because I'm not gonna mess around with Forex factory browser refreshing because it's horrible it's too slow and so I'm just gonna listen to CNBC and uh, here we go Okay, that's horrible. Horrible news. Pound up, Aussie up. These should go up. Okay, so the CAD. Okay, so I'm looking to do a buy here on this. Giving it a second here. I want to buy this Euro US dollar because horrible news, it should be going up. The pound is trying to come down into here. Okay, I'm gonna buy the I'm gonna buy the euro. It's slowing down. I'm gonna buy buy the pound. Slowing down. U.S. CAD. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna sell the CAD. Okay, shut that off. Sell the CAD for a retrace. U.S. Swissy, I'm selling for a retrace, and I can bring up. Uh, let me just watch uh, Aussie dollar, U.S. dollar. Is that a level? I'm gonna do a buy there, and uh, New Zealand U.S. dollar, doing a buy there. we've just US yen is dripping lower so uh, we're gonna get profits right off the bat on this euro pound is slug sluggish we're short the CAD we're short the Swissy US yen Mm, U.S. is down. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to sit tight. Okay, we already took profits, took profits, took profits, took profits on the the uh, the euro. Great, we bottomed it out. We got a nice entry there. We took profits on the Swissy um, U.S. Yeah, okay. Took profits on the Aussie dollar, New Zealand. Oh, I miss my New Zealand U.S. dollar. Crap, that's what that was. I can't even 
keep track of what's going on here, but we're peeling profits like a wild animal right now. Um, took two two profits on the Swissy coming down. Oh, I really missed this New Zealand U.S. dollar. I screwed up. Um, the euro yen I'm not messing with and I'm not really messing with this euro pound okay um, hmm. wow this US cat is just flat it's just stuck it's not pulling back yet so I'm gonna be patient and watch that so it's gotta break these down trends right it's it's at these lines we're in a no risk situation we're profitable profitable on everything is profitable let me just quick show you my terminal everything except the cat is profitable oh man I missed my New Zealand oh my gosh again I'll review charts when I'm done here but uh, just smoking it here so we have profits on the euro profits on the pound we have profits on the Swissy and we have profits taken on the Aussie dollar US dollar we just absolutely cannot lose but we gotta see if this is gonna hold the trend so this news can the news bring this down or is it just well can the news break the downtrend or is it just gonna hold that's the hard part this uh, this US cat is just going against me here so I think what I'm gonna do I'm at minus nine hmm I gotta decide am I going to scale it out am I gonna wait because the the news is horrible it should be should be coming down and it's not all right it's struggling I'm not gonna panic it's only been six minutes okay oh I'm just so irritated I what happened is my my stupid template um, it had confirmed the trades on sniper and so I got you know I'm moving around and I'm confused I'm sitting here and here there's a window over here saying do you want to trade do you want to trade and then I hesitated a second I I uh, thought I had them all set up I uh, so anyway okay let's take a look here again so everything again is profitable except the CAD right now and um, everything has had profits uh, let me see what should I lock in here mm, Swissy's coming down I just want to I want to see which ones do I want to stick in which ones do I want to you know take my profits and run kind of a thing in other words I, I can tighten my stops here see if I think stuff's not going to go my way okay here comes the CAD now it's finally profitable right there and let's see I'll leave this up so you can see where these pips are okay so I'm excited um, Oh, this New Zealand just missed it. Oh. Okay, so good. Swissy's coming down. Euro has made this push. It's trying to get up. Um, I just want to grab what I can on the CAD. Okay great look at the euro pounding up so as you can see in the charts I got 14 17 I got 15 and 20 I mean just killed it uh, on these initial moves because the nice thing about the sniper when it moves that fast the defaults are there it just pops in so this other I got 15 and 20 on the Aussie dollar um, and I got uh, seven and nine on the Swissy, the spreads were horrible. So I gave up a lot on the spread. But here comes the Swissies down, the Euros pushing some gas here. If we can get this, if we can get this 
CAD profitable, that'll be six for six. So we are at nine minutes after the news. And again, again, and again, as you see, look at this, it just pushes down against everything. And then I just watch that little hesitation, 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 bam, I buy it and it pulls up. So it was a great, uh, horrible news. Pound should go up, Aussie should go up, Euro should go up, US CAD should come down, US Swissy should come down. And the yen is dripping, it's just not, it didn't spike at all, it's just fading. So again, these are 15 minute charts. We should get a close again above this red. And so all the trends were down. This pound is really confused. I'm shocked that it's stuck. The pound will, you know, often do a swing back and then continue. So I'm gonna just kind of watch these. It's kind of fun. I'm going to go to my FX book. Let me see if I can get my news updates to come in now. And I can show you. Okay, the cat is trying to get there. All right, so here's the news, 7.30. So one GDP, 69. So CAD, oh, that's why. No, no, the US was here. This is bad. The CAD's news was bad. Oh, so that's trying to go up. The U.S. is horrible, so it's kind of neutralizing itself. It's confused, but the overall U.S. news is horrible. That should override that. We'll watch it, though. Um, Non-farm, look at that, 69,000. This was adjusted way down. Forecasted 150. This is horrible news. This should really move it. Unemployment goes up, so that's really bad news. And the rest of this stuff's even bad here. So anyway, so it gives you an idea of what's going on. And um, I'm just watching, just watching the rest of these guys. So again, look at these nice numbers, right? 30, 14, 22, 20 pips I'm up on all these. And so again, I'm at break even. I, I don't want to rush things. I'm going to wait and see if I can get uh, get these to run and finish the day you know break trends move capture some some bigger moves I just I just need a few of these and um, I literally could be done trading for the month here in an, uh, another hour or two. Oh man I'm just so mad I missed that uh, New Zealand that could really be a big mover I mean I just I literally gave up 74.50 I just I just I gave up like 40 uh, a 40 pip move there because I didn't have my parameters set I swear I checked them all too that's irritating okay so CAD is still slow 3-4 pips here and I just have to decide you know do I maybe scale out do I just hold strong on this horrible news March unemployment A2 versus A1. So the unemployment again, bad. Everything's just bad, bad, bad. So, wow. And that's what we wanted. We wanted a major divergence from the forecast, right? The forecast was 150, came out at half, 70. That's beautiful. It It's going to move. So, okay, so now my CAD's starting to move a little bit here. And the trend for that was up. And again, we'll, I'll, I'll review each chart here when everything is done. Um, like I said, I'm just watching across multiple monitors. And uh, so we're getting down to this one minute on these candles, seeing where they close. hit this profit sort there we go so I can see my biggest euro and pound are the biggest Aussie dollar Swissy pound and the euro okay so these guys are the biggest 
Um, Swissy's hanging in there. Aussie Dollar is, is hanging in there. They've got a big wick at the bottom. And so it's just 15 minutes after the news. You know, uh, we'll watch for if it might pull back, might retrace a little bit. Give us, you know, what I'm, what I'd like to see is it gets above, you know, closes above this red cluster, and then 30 minutes after the news, it comes back down, and then there's another buy we could add on here. Same thing on the pound. The trend is down. It breaks above. Doji's 15 minutes. It pulls back. And we have an opportunity. So, okay, so it, the CAD's hanging in there. Uh, which one is, oh, my Swissy is struggling. I'm kind of at the high of London is the stop. The only thing I'm nervous about is all this Euro, negative Euro stuff. To me, I'm just wondering if I bring this stop up here. To say if this, you know, I don't want to get stopped out at one. I'm not going to leave that on the table. I want something on that last one. Uh, same thing here. I need this to, to break and move higher or I'm out. This Aussie shoot, it's coming back hard against me now. I'm not interested in moving any stops. I'm not giving anything up yet. You know, in other words, to stay in the trade. If it stops me out, it stops me out. I hate to take a one, though. Come on. Okay, so crap. I lost the Swissy, came back to one. So I got 7, 11, and a one. Um... Yeah, look at this euro is struggling, the pound is struggling, they're all doing a little swing. Crap. Okay, so there's the numbers 9, 15, 20. Like I said, I'm I'm concerned that this may go the other way. Um, it, you know, if these lines are going to hold. Um, I got to get this CAD profitable here. I don't want to take a loss, so. I'm going to tighten up my... Tighten everything up on this cat. I just got this. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so now this Euro is looking hard. This Swissy is just pounding north. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Okay, that's going down the US CAD. Uh, I'm going to close this just at a. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, that fast it's negative ten. I'm gonna take this take one off. On the US CAD. Scaled two off the US CAD. Minus six and a minus three. See, what I'm afraid is it's just doing it one more time, giving more opportunities to jump in before it continues. So I'm torn on jumping back in this or not. So here's this CAD. I've got a third left. And I have to make a decision. See, look at that. I mean, it just punched one more time. And, uh, um, a minus.
minus nine. It's misbehaving. I'm going to close it. Okay, so I lost uh, a three, a six, and a nine. Three, six, nine on this US CAD because it just doesn't look like it's going to cooperate. Everything else is back. <clears throat> Everything else is swinging back to entry points. So now I have to decide am I going to I mean I'm we'll count pips later. I'm not I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so now it's coming up on 30 minutes after the news. This this negative euro news is what's so concerning to me. Is this euro just going to continue to go down? Um, you know what what's it what's it going to do? Man, that cat is just confused. So I had one loser on the cat. Wow, the Swissy punched even higher highs and is pulled all the way back. But but here's the thing: as uh, so it pulled down. Um, I'm thinking, do you see how it has um, higher lows? If this breaks here, it's going to push. It just sucked a lot of people in. It's not the best entry, but I'm going to watch for, I'm going to watch to jump in these to the euro and the whatever and do a buy uh, because of all these wicks here. You know, kind of looks like everybody just repositioned, you know, try to push it deeper to get in a nice low to then ride it to the upside. So the other thing is, uh, let me get these out of the way, is let's see how deep we are and what's our risk. So the low is 22.87. So if we're at 20, 22.90. to make it easy numbers so there's 20 we're 25 pips away you know they suckered everybody in that's for sure if you if you don't understand everybody jumps in the cells and they just get destroyed so the grids gives you a nice clear entry points to hide behind So now it's just kind of stuck and I'm just waiting for it to, you know, kind of prove or show something. I don't want to make any assumptions. I, I personally, I, I like to, you know, now that the news is done, I like to see it break and do retests. However, on a special day like today, it may not do that. It may just move, so you have to be ready to just, move see yeah now I, again I I didn't know you don't know but this CAD now is coming down and it's profitable and I just you, you can't you know wait too long or play around because when it's gone it's just gone so you know here it is below the red below the red below the red down tries to go up down tries to go up so for this you know you want to assume that it's gonna break up right same thing on the pound. Look at that. It came down, powered up, came down, powered up. So it's just screaming here. I hate chasing price. You know. The crazy thing is it gave us two entry opportunities here. Twice. And so, bam, profitable. Bam, it would have been profitable really needed to be in back down here again but I just you get caught up in this break even do you move the stop do you re-enter you know blah 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 back and forth so all right we're down to 50 60 seconds here let's see if we can get these guys to move our way finally the CAD's not bad the CAD my stop is above the high of the day that's not a bad let's see if we can get the CAD to pull back down and get these profitable without given up too much here today 30 seconds
obviously I mean just monster buying power off the bottom here you know same on the pound I'm not going to chase anything else. I'm not I'm not going to jump on this Swissy. Wow, the yen is just <laughs> Wow, US yen. I wonder if I should quick sell it because that is major retest of a red after the news. Wow. I got to decide like right now see so this is great so it closed outside this trend line you know poked above a lot of downward pressure sorry a lot of upward pressure from the bottom and now it closed above this you know trend line here um, so all signs for this are up for sure same thing on this this now is closed you know at this this might burp a little at this I'm expected for it to go up um, I just uh, Again, I want to, I want to be conservative. I don't want to. I just want to pe peck away. Just take the pips. Take the pips. So it's been up four, five, six pips already. I'm just taking them at this grid. You should get some movement here. You go, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna pop. Can you feel it? Just feel it. Just. Feel it flipping over from sells to buys. Everybody's got their back broke on this trend line. So again, there's a couple options, right? Do you go to break even right away and stretch these out a little bit? I mean, my attitude, I just, I want to bag as many pips as I can to start out the month strong. Yeah, this yen is struggling. Oh, jeepers. I'm glad I didn't sell. I really wanted to sell this, uh, Okay, so far so good. Made a smart decision. Pound, give me the money. I just, uh, great. I'm going to get my money back on this cat. Come on, come on, come on. I'm up seven. I need to get that money back. I really am optimistic about the pound. I like I really enjoy trading the pound. I don't want to get stopped out here in this pullback though. This is killing me. Oh, I got no, that pound, the euro, shoot. So I got another what? Eight, eight, one, and one. Shoot. Let me reset that. That's fine. Uh, one, two, and twelve. Yeah, okay, great. So I got, I got this made up another twenty-three. That's good. This cat's trying. They're they're hesitating a little bit here. I want to stretch this as hard as far as I can. I don't want to get I don't want to get greedy. But yet I do. <laughs> now what is it at? Take profit one at thirteen. Um, what did I get? I lost like what? Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven. Took profit at thirteen. I better. I get crazy. Scanning, scanning, scanning for opportunities here. If this pound breaks and retests, I could do that. Here comes that, look at that pound making her move. Nice, good job. Good job. 
you know, like I said, if if I can stay in trades, it's great. I just I just want to maximize these moves and really lock in my profits. This is this is right here. This is just flat out addicting. When you when you see a, a big green candle with no wick on the top, it's just new highs, new highs, new highs, just plowing north. That's great. I'm really amazed this yen has not rolled over yet. Wow. There goes my euro. I missed it. Here comes my cat. Come on, give me some profits here. Ten and thirty. Ten and thirty. I'll take another ten off. Come on, come on, come on. This cat, by all means, should be coming down here. We should be good to go. I'm frustrated that this euro chopped me around a little bit. Man. So I can look for, you know, any and all opportunities here. Like if this 15 closes above these highs, you know, London area, here comes this cat. Come on now, we got 10, 9, 10 pips. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on, I'm going to get 5. There we go. Okay, good. I got 13 and 5, and I'm at break even. See if I can live through that. Great. Now the cat's really moving my way. Good. So it's at 13, 14. Okay, now it's coming down. So I, I took it a little premature, but I'll follow it and see if I can get this thing to move my way. Good, good, good. Swissy's coming down hard. This yen is just confused. So I'm going to draw some trend lines off this Aussie dollar, US dollar and see where that. I'll look for a possible entry there. So what did I get? I got a 13, I got 18 back on this US CAD. So I'm going to give this a chance to come down a little bit deeper and then I'll follow my stop loss. But <laughs> So this is this is great, you know, uh, we have rising trend line and uh, and um, you know it it uh, wicked off the bottom, wicked, and when it closes right on that trend line, real high probability that it's busted. Sure enough, look at busted, retested within a pip, and then now it's up. So you know it can come back a ways. I have a hard time believing it would come that deep. It might, but this is great. It's already done this big cycle, so. Hopefully it's all up from here. And again, I'm just trying to keep watching, you know, maybe Swissy. Um, I'm really staring at this yen. I think it's confused. I'm not too fired up to jump on this Swissy just quite yet. Okay, so I got okay, got new candles. I got to see here, you know, on this euro, if this you know, do I buy it right here? Do I wait for this retest and do pop another buy? Because this could just retouch here. So, okay, so there's a black. See that? So it broke it. It's coming back. This is a big thing, you know. And it's 45 minutes after the news. I don't want to get too crazy. But I'm just like, you know, either you buy it here or you buy it here and you, you know, this could come all the way back down and retest this line. Things are getting so, so the longer I get away from the news, the choppier it gets and the more, uh, you know, risk. I don't want to get crazy. I mean, I'm seriously, I'm up a solid, it's got to be 130 pips already. coming up on 150 if I shut everything down right now 
again, you're just trying to catch a runner, right? Trying to get in something you can stay in. This little scalping is great, you know, to chip away, but man, I'm trying to find something I can stick with. And if I would have hit that New Zealand US the way I wanted to, I'd have been over 200 pips easy today. So if this comes back to this red, I mean, this is a no brainer buy right here for sure, which it may. Because, you know, the trend is down and it broke the trend. And now to retest the trend line at a red is uh, good, good stuff. And watch, I mean, you can pull fibs and see if, yeah, 38 is good. 50 is down here. I have a hard time believing it get all the way to 50. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think I'm going to end this video as the first half. It's been going about 50 minutes. Not much to add it down. It's pretty action-packed hour here. So, so here's you know here's where we stand. Still in. A uh, cat is 10 pips. A pound is 12 pips. I'm trying to see if we can stick in these to keep them going. Looking for re-entries. I don't want to get sucked into this euro just yet. I'm just. I'm I'm thinking this may doji and then pull back one more time. It could stop at this black. It could go all the way back to the red. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to be cautious and watch that. So, all right, I'll come back again.